Today I will be giving you a tour of my closet. What clothes I have, what clothes I love to wear, and yeah, let's get into it. So first off, a shirt that unfortunately I don't wear too much because it is a bit small on me and unfortunately this is the only size I can find in it. But it's this Mesa Margiela camp tee that has prints on prints on prints. It's from the 10th collection as you can see here on the inside of the tag and here where it has a 10 in the corner. It's definitely a grail piece of mine. I love it, would never sell it. Wish it was a bit bigger, but because I love oversized, but it's still an amazing piece. You gonna focus camera? I okay. Next piece I got is this beautiful blue dress shirt that I found at a thrift store in Singapore. And I it just looks amazing, tucked in, tucked out, use it with layering, use it with dress pants. It's just a very smart shirt, and it looks really nice with everything. Next up is just this plain tee from a brand called Robert Barquette. It is one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever worn. I wear this actually quite a lot, but it's just a really nice plain black, really, it's called some type of cotton, I know for sure. It's called... Pima cotton. And Pima cotton is just very comfortable. I'm not exactly sure where it's from, how it's made. I can put a little information here, 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 but it's a very comfortable shirt. Next up is this Utopia shirt from the Eats and H&M collaboration. On the front it says Utopia Airlines. On the back it says this must be the place in red writing, as you can see here and here. And then on the inside, it has that very nice EATS H&M tag. Next up, I'd like to point out what I'm wearing, which is this Raph Simmons Spring Summer 2017, if I'm correct, sweater. It's oversized, it's cropped, and it's just a beautiful piece to go with anything. Continuing with my outfit, we have these pants, khaki pants from a Korean brand named Sober. I can link them down in the description. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but they're just a really nice pair of pleated pants. Next is my Vetmon dress shirt. I love wearing this casually or dressing up with it. It's once again another piece of mine that's a grail piece. It's a staple piece for me. And yeah, if I can actually put it on the hanger, it's sleeves inside out. I'm stupid. If it actually goes on the hanger, you can see it just has vetmon. There we go. Next up is another shirt that I thrifted, and I am a bit confused about what brand this shirt is. I The tag is cut off, so that already gave me like vibes like, okay, this could possibly be something. It is this B pattern that's in a diamond on it, and I have noticed after going to the Gucci store multiple times in a row now, that it is almost exactly the exact same pattern. So my guess is this was some piece from Gucci that didn't sell out and they put it to thrift stores because there's around there's like three or four and all the tags were cut. Here's another big grail piece of mine, which is the Vetmon 11 inch gun club hoodie. I absolutely love this. I don't wear it as much as I should. You can see the Vetmon here. Absolutely beautiful. I should wear this more than I actually do. Um, but unfortunately, because of the weather here, 
it is quite hard, but once again, a grail piece has the uh, target on your chest, you know, so you can get shot. Very fun. Grail piece, for sure. Next up, we have the Fear of God baseball jersey. This is the definition of a piece that I bought, spent too much, and I've never worn it. I wear this maybe once a month to go grocery shopping or something like that, and it hurts me. So I am selling this on Grail. You can either go down into the description, hit up my Insta, say, hey, I want this, or you can go into my Grail account, which will also be linked down in the, in the description, and you can get this for a good price. I'm up for offers. Next is a shirt that I wear in contrast a lot. And I was wearing it for the photo shoot in my last video, and it's the Rude Spring Summer 18 cigarette shirt. Just has this beautiful pattern all over the shirt of palm trees and cigarettes. And once again, this is a grail of mine. So happy and so fortunate to have these clothes. Next up is a piece that I am selling as well. Um, it's the Vetmall 100% Pro all white hoodie in size small. And it has a bunch of the collaboration or brand, it has a bunch of the brands that they collaborate with. It says 100% Pro www.vetmom.com If you want this hoodie, it's a complete steal right now. You go to my Grailed account, once again, link down in the description. You can pick this up, you won't regret it. I just don't like it too much as it has the same problem as my Meso Margello shirt where it's just a little too small on me and I prefer oversized things that aren't compact on my body. Next is a blazer, a light blue blazer that I thrifted. I just think it's a nice piece. Wear it with these pants here or wear it with... I was thinking of wearing it with blue jeans. Thought that would be a little too much. I'm just experimenting with this really. But it's perfect for, you know, spring, summer. It has that very summer vibe to it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, this is a nice piece. Next up, we have this Gosho Robchinsky layered shirt hoodie, which I found out I got scammed on. Great job, Brenner. I messed up badly there. But, I still feel it's a nice piece, despite that. So, here is a shirt that I used to wear all the time, and I still wear it a lot, but not out, and it's this old Hawaiian shirt that I found in a thrift store in Belgium, Brussels, has this nice pattern of flowers all over front and back, and it's just a really nice piece. Lastly, from my main rack is this shirt that I used to wear a lot from Urban Outfitters. I can link it down in the description if they're still selling it, until my friend told me that his dad has the exact same shirt. And even though, you know, I like the dad sneaker vibe, I kind of just stopped wearing it after that. Next up on pants, I have the Rothko pants right here, camel all the way. I think I've worn these once in Singapore, sadly, just because of how heavy they are. And they went a lot, they were much better with my old style. Not as much with my new style of high fashion, high end, you know, more preppy. I don't want to say preppy. That I don't. I don't feel that's correct. But more fancier. This is more of a street style pant. Next, I have this pair of pants that I got from a thrift store. It has this beautiful print on it of. Pound tooth in brown and white. This is one of my favorite pair of pants for two reasons. One, it is the only pair of pants that I own that my leak belt could fit in. I just sold that, so I, that's not really a problem anymore. But, unfortunately, 
I did break it. I broke the zipper, so I can't really wear them with much except for the Vet Mall hoodie because it's so oversized and it covers up the zipper. Otherwise, it's a, just a really amazing pair of pants and I'm really sad that it had to break. Next up is a pair of plain black unique little pants. Okay, I decided, you know what, I want to do my own thing with this. I ended up playing around with some paint, some fabric paint, and made a bunch of designs on here. There's an eye, there's flames, there's a spaceship, there's Japanese writing that says karma, which will link to something much later on that I will talk about in a later video. I have these Hugo Boss um, dress pants that were just a bit too big on me, so I went and cut them, customized them, and now they're just this nice bluish, grayish color, and they're cut to be shorts, so they're much more wearable in Singapore. Next, I have two items here. One is my belt that I wear the most right now. I got this in Hong Kong for about $10, but it's just good quality leather, nice whole belt, you know, got that rustic, got that edgy vibe. <laughs> um, along with that, there's chains that connect to it. And then this pair of blue jeans that I too cut at the bottom to make a nice cropped fit. You'll see that's a trend with my pants. I've been cutting almost every pair of pants I own up. The next pair of pants are my only pair of pants, are one of my only pair of pants that are like a grail piece to me. And it's the Vetmol Levi's collaboration jeans and and they're just this beautiful black colorway with vetement here let me get it for the camera there we go very opposite of what I said of me not being a hype beast but I just respect vetement enough that I am willing to spend a lot of money on a pair of jeans like that um, unfortunately I did want the blue pair of jeans that had the vet mall on the crotch. I preferred those a lot more. I don't know, they just looked nicer. It was embroidered. It was just a beautiful piece, but it was sold out when I wanted to get it, so I got these instead. But I'm really happy with the purchase. Next pair of pants that I would consider a grail are these needles track pants, the needles and beams track pants, so a collaboration with the Japanese store. They just have a green colored stripe, green and white stripes going down on each side, and they're just really nice track pants. I usually wear these with this, uh, with this sweater instead of like khaki pants, but I decided to switch it up today, do something unique. My next pair of pants are from Uniqlo once again, but they are these light gray pair of pants that were way too big for me um, lengthwise. So once again, I cut them and now they're, they are perfectly cropped. You would have seen them in my last video if you paid attention when I was showing off my Nike Air Tailwinds. They, there's a little bit of a problem with bunching up, but otherwise they turned out exactly how I wanted them to. My last pair of pants is just a very plain pair of Uniqlo black pants. I didn't paint these. I wear these a lot. They're just a very nice pair of dress pants. There's not much else I can say. And finally, to finish it off, we have two more items from clothing. One is this trench coat from the Korean brand Silver, so the same brand as these pants right here. It's just this very nice, beautiful quality, beautiful everything. The buttons are very nice as well, if you can see them up close. Everything about this coat, I just love. Unfortunately, I do live in Singapore, so it is very hard to wear, as it gets way too warm 
way too fast. And finally, I have this beautiful blazer from an Australian brand called Injury. Just the details that they have on here are amazing. They obviously put a lot of effort into it, and I think it definitely justifies the price at what it came in. Luckily though, I did not pay full price. I found this at a thrift store in Hong Kong and got super, super lucky with it. But it's just a beautiful black blazer to put over anything and just finish off an outfit. Next up, we have shoes. My Ralph Simmons Oswegos. I love these shoes. I've worn them to death. They're probably my favorite pair of shoes. Extremely beat. I have, and you will see in my next video, I bought a second pair of them. Uh, yeah, you just have to wait to see that. Revenge X Storms, fake vans, if you may call them that. They don't have revenge on the bottom because it's from the very first drop. They're pretty beat, but they look better than what they are. I don't wear them often, which is a shame, but I feel because of how I like high-end clothing more, I just don't have the time to wear them. They don't go along with most of what I have. Next up, as you saw before, the Nike Tailwinds. You already know about these. My next pair of shoes are the Ralph Simmons Detroit Runners. These are also up for sale. So if you want a really good steal on a pair of Detroit Runners, hit up my grail, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll get you these for a good price. I don't wear them off, I don't wear them at all. I'm trying to replace them with a pair of triple S's instead. I feel I'll get more wear out of those, but they're just a beautifully designed shoe. Have the Raph Simmons on the bottom, silver, the stitching, the details, everything about this shoe is just very nice. Got the Raph Simmons on the inside. Very nice. Finally, a pair of boots from ASOS that I got, which are the Cuban heel boots, which are basically a replacement until I buy Saint Laurent boots. But for now, I have these. I get a lot of wear out of them. They're pretty beat because of how much I wear them, which just is more of a reason for me to buy the Saint Laurent boot. I have the combat boots, which you've already seen, which I can show here. And then finally I have the Comte de Garçon Vapor Maxes. These are also going up for sale on my grill. These are pretty beat as you can see up close. They're broken. There is a hole puncture in one of the backs but they're still a very nice piece that is like an essential if you want some very nice clothes. Very nice. I hardly ever wear them, so that's why I'm selling them. So if you want a really good steal on those, once again, my grail is down below. Okay, next, I'll show you my jewelry. I have a bunch of chains, but I think my piece de resistance is this chain with the Dior cause pendant, as you can see. It looks really nice when you wear it with an open shirt, an open um, dress shirt. That's just a very nice piece. I have a really bad habit. I, I have a really bad habit of losing rings. So my only ring I have right now is this ring from a Korean brand. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. You can't really see it too well, but it's just a very nice piece. And finally, my last piece of jewelry is this beautiful chrome hearts earring that's diamond and silver. Oh, it's really annoying, you can't see it. I'll put some pictures up here and here if you want, but it's just a very nice piece. And so yeah, that's my closet. I hope you liked this video. If so, don't be afraid to leave a like, and I hope you have an amazing day.